Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan, and the company I'll be working with today is Wild African. Inside your packaging, you will get the wig packaged in a satin bag. You will also get an information pamphlet, and you will get two new stocking wig caps. This is a Brazilian curly 22 inch 360 lace wig. That means it has lace around the entire circumference of the head. It is 150% density and it does come with pre bleached knots, a pre plucked hairline, and an elastic band already inside the wig. It features three combs in the inside, the extra adjustable band, and you also get the normal adjustable strap in the back. If you want to get the most versatility out of your 360 and full lace wigs, you must do a few things. First, you need to cut all the combs out the wig. As you can see, I'm using my eyebrow razor and I'm just cutting those combs right out. After the combs, that extra adjustable band that they put in the wig, which is great if you're doing a glueless install, it would just make your wig even more secure. However, we don't need it, so we're going to take that out and also cut off those connectors to the adjustable strap. Once we get done with that, we're going to go to the bottom back of the lace wig and we're going to cut out the normal adjustable band strap and the comb. Everything must go. You want it just to be complete lace. That way when you glue it down, it stays secure and there's nothing in the way. Now this process is not an easy one. It's not going to, you're not going to be able to do this in like one minute. It's going to take you about a good five to ten minutes especially because you want to be careful because any wrong move you could put a hole in your lace remember that this is sped up this took me about a good 10 minutes to get all of this off you must be very careful and you know have a good eye for the thread because they usually use like that clear invisible thread but everything that's inside of the wig can be cut off so cut all that off now that little gray area in the middle of the wig, that's tracks. Don't cut that. This is a 360 wig, so you get lace around the entire circumference, but you do have tracks in the middle. If it was a full lace wig, it'll just be strictly lace. However, this is a 360 lace wig. So just cut all that out, and I'm going to show you how it looks once everything is cut out. Now the lace is finally free from everything we don't need. As you can see, those knots in the front, the company did go ahead and pre-bleach those, but the ones in the back, they did not. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. Y'all know when I bleach my knots, I use my BW2 powder and my 50 volume developer. I do not have all day to bleach knots. And I just find it that BW2 gets the job done. It's very strong, you know. A lot of people don't like BW2 because it is very brassy, and it is. It is very brassy. However, it gets the job done you don't have to wait 50 hours just to bleach your knots <laughs> so we is bw2 gang over here <laughs> so you want to mix that till you get a thick consistency and you want to go ahead and apply that to those knots And y'all know I'm extra. I went ahead and applied some bleach to the front knots too, even though they was already bleached. Y'all know I just have to do the most. So I went ahead and rinsed that out with some purple shampoo. And honey, we is now ready to install. Y'all favorite, Cousin Jayla. 
Yeah, so child, she cut out her hair off, so we ain't got to do no braids today. We just finna slick this fro right on back, this TWA, this teeny weeny afro, and we finna get straight to it. I'm just using my yellow got to be um, glue gel. We're gonna slick the edges back in the front, the sides, and the back. You wanna slick everything back and get it out the way. Even if you had cornrows, you just wanna slick everything away from the face. And then we're gonna go ahead and apply our um, stocking cap. So I do a different ball cap method when I'm doing 360 or full lace wig installs because I need my cap really secured and locked down in place. I use my black got to be glued gel and I carve out that entire hairline around the entire circumference of the head. And once I carve it out, I go ahead and reinforce it with the freeze spray just to make sure everything is locked into place. And I actually sit them up under a hooded dryer. I don't blow dry, I sit them up under a hooded dryer for about 15 minutes on high and that just makes sure everything is secure and your cap is not peeling up in the back. I find that when I used to do the cap method like how I normally do it uh, with the freeze spray, the back would just always be rising up due to, you know, the stretching of the neck. So I go ahead and lock that cap down with some gel. It's a little bit stronger and, you know, it just won't be in my way. Hey. 
Now her cap is fully dry. We're gonna cut off all that excess stocking cap and we're gonna clean her hairline. And we're gonna also make sure that we use our skin protectant just to make sure we're protecting from the glue. Um, you wanna always thoroughly clean the hairline even if they have makeup on. Child, you just gotta do what you gotta do. And um, make sure you guys use skin protectant, y'all. Skin protectant is so important no matter what glue you use. You need to protect the skin. You're literally laying a piece of fabric over your skin and it cannot breathe for like, you know, days, weeks. So yeah, please use that skin protectant. And now we're going to use our Ruby Kisses RDF Level 15, the darker shade of the palette. We're going to put that all around the cap, and we're going to put that all around the wig. It's basically the same steps that you do with the normal wig install. You're just doing the same stuff to the front. You're going to do it to the back and the sides. So now we're going to position the wig on the client's head, just making sure that everything is in position and that it actually fits her head. If you find that your full lace or your 360 is too small and you're going to have to do a lot of stretching, you might as well get the idea of gluing the back out of your head because the more you stretch the wig over time, it, it unstretches and that back is going to pop up. So. If the back of your lace doesn't just lay down naturally in the position that you want it to and you have to do a lot of stretching, that's not going to work. You need to make sure that you get the proper size wig for your head. And most of our heads are big, y'all. I know y'all don't want to admit it, but we got big heads. We got big heads, y'all. So stop getting small wig caps, y'all. You got a big head. <laughs> I need to stop my mess. <laughs> I know, I know. 
I know. Self-control has never been thing. Don't think that a help if there's a ring with a rock in it. Where I'm from, they serve the soul to clean. You come from a city where there's lean with the rocks in it. How the fuck you keep so many secrets? How you pull that vegan but still be filled with me? Yeah. How the fuck you swing so many beaches? Tickets to them places don't come cheap, yeah. I see it back in search when that movie took it first, so don't you so now after we cut out those ear tabs, it's time to glue that wig down. Y'all already know I'm using my hold me down, y'all. I just love this glue. Like I just feel like this glue is my soulmate when it comes to laces. And you know, I'm just gonna stick with her. I love her for real. We get married. But anyways, I glue the front of my wigs down first when I'm doing like a 360 or a full lace wig install because that's the first thing people see. They see the front of your head. So you want to make sure you get that in position correctly for real because that's what people see. And then after that, you can glue the back down because if the back is a little messed up, you can finesse that because, you know, you can throw a little something the hair down, you know, hide the lace or whatever. But that front needs to be laid. So I always glue my front down first. And then I go in and glue the back down. For the front, I'll be using four layers. Four layers. That last layer is dry, so now I'm gonna go ahead and lay that lace down. I'm gonna use the teeth of the comb to help me push that lace into the skin, and I'm gonna get her to hold the lace around the sides just to make sure everything is positioned while I start to glue the back down. And now for the back, you want to do the same exact thing. You just want to apply your glue along the edge of that cap, making sure that some of the glue is on the skin, and you want to smooth it out as thin as possible. And make sure you apply glue up there around the top of the ear as well, so that can be secured as well. Not just the bottom back of your neck. It needs to be like, you know, around the entire circumference, from like the top of your ear, going down to the side of your ear, the back of your neck, you know, etc. And you just want to smooth that out and make sure each layer turns clear before you um, put the wig down or apply another layer That last layer is dry. So now it's time to lay that lace down Once again using the teeth of the comb and you're gonna get your client to help you hold this into position While you blow dry this lace to make it secure Why is your story so long a place? Hold out the secrets, friends don't kiss it. 
whole lot of secrets friends don't keep safe Where did your friends all go? Ooh. I can't solve your problems You say your problems never need to solve it. I was too good to you, should have stayed solid Thanks guys always finish off where they started They shot for you on the things and you got it they shot for I'm on the smoke and I got it. Days I fall, days I, days I. I should have put you somewhere where no one can find you. Mansion out in streets with nothing around you. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know I'm different environment. Cause you had desires. I know, I know, I know. And now you want to tie everything down with your elastic band. I start my elastic band from the back because that's the main that's the main focus point of this installation is making sure that back looks great too. You know the front gonna look good, but you want to make sure that back looks good too. So I tie the back down first. And then if I feel like I need another band because it's not um, stretching across enough in the front, I'll add another band as well. So 10 minutes with the band on and we took it off and now it's time to cut off all that excess lace. Self-control has never been a thing. Don't think it'll help if there's a ring with a vibe in it. Where I'm from, they serve the soul of pain. You come from a city where there's lean with the rocks in it. How the fuck you keep so many secrets? How you pull it vegan but still be filming me again? How the fuck you seen so many beats? Tickets to them places don't go cheap, yeah. I see it back in search, remember who took it at first, but don't you get it? That's your whip, you ain't got back on the shit, I had it to air, go get it. I'm always moving too fast, the feeling don't last, I feel like you take it for granted. Probably my fault for the way that I handle it. I should have put you somewhere where no one can find you. Man, she's not in streets with nothing around you. Take it, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know I'm different environment. And you may find that when you're gluing the back down that not all parts of the lace get glued like how you want to. And that's okay. You're just going to take some extra glue, put it on the back of your hand, use your rat tail comb to slide it in between those hard to reach places. And you're just going to apply those same amount of layers that you normally would and then you're going to tack it down. Don't worry y'all. It happens to the best of us. As you can see, I'm going to show y'all that it happened to me and I fixed it. Put 
And I just had to stop and, you know, slow this thing down to show y'all, like, how that lace looking. I ain't even fully melted it in. And that thing is looking natural. And that's the back, okay? Stop playing. Did I tell y'all in January I'm coming hard? I don't think y'all was feeling me for real, so I'm going to make y'all feel me, okay? Period. And I know we like halfway through the video, y'all, but if I did not mention it in the beginning, which I don't think I did, I did pluck the um, hairline in the front some more, and I definitely plucked the back because the back doesn't come pre-plucked. So I definitely plucked it all the way around. If you're ready for me to drop a plucking tutorial, you know, just tell me in the comments below. You know, I'm just giving y'all everything y'all want anyway. You know, we a family. You get what you want around here. So let me know in the comments if you want an updated plucking tutorial, you know. Hint, hint. <laughs> so now I'm separating the hairs from my baby hairs in the front and in the back and then I'm going to spray the lace all the way around with hairspray and tie it down with our elastic band. Get 
feelings filled with entitlement. Why would you tell me those lies? Why would you make it so close to my face? Why are your stories all over the place? Whole lot of secrets friends don't keep safe. Where did your friends all go? Ooh. I can't solve your problem. You say your problems never need to solve it. I was too good so you should have stayed solid. Thanks guys always finish off where they started. They shot who you want the things in your garden. They shot who I want to smoke and I got it. Days out, days out, days out. Should have put you somewhere where no one can find you. Man, she's not gonna speak to with nothing around you. Hey, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know I'm giving it by me. Cause you had desires. I know, I know, I know. Cause you had desires. I know, I know. And I went ahead and took that elastic band off at about, you know, about 10 minutes. And as you can see, that lace is melted in. At this point, it ain't even a lace. It's just her natural hair. You know, I'm just going to cut some baby hairs in her natural hair. You know, do a little style, you know. Because it, it's very much so her hair at this point. Control has never been a thing. Don't think that I have a there's a ring with a rock in it. Where I'm from, they serve the soul to drink. You come from a city where there's lean with the rocks in it. How the fuck you keep so many secrets? How you going vegan, but still be filled with so now I'm just applying my mousse and we're going to swoop these baby hairs. If y'all didn't notice, I cut my baby hairs way longer now. Like, I don't cut them as short. I do this because when I'm swooping them, like, they swoop exactly the way I want them to. And I don't have to fight with them because when they're short, you can kind of sometimes have to fight with them. So I leave them long so I can swoop them exactly how I want to. And then once they're dry, I'll go back in and cut them down to the exact size I want them to. So do that i want y'all to try that i think it may help y'all with y'all baby hairs the people who do the moose baby hairs um cut them a little bit longer swoop them and then go back in after you've let them dry and cut them down to the shape that you wanted to i think you guys are going to enjoy that method better you won't have to have such a hassle I should have put you somewhere where no one can find you. Man, she's not gonna speak to another one around you. Hey, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know I'm giving it by me. Cause you got desires. I know, I know, I know. Cause you got desires. I know, I know. I'm a two. You've had a mistake. I should. 
Say put you somewhere I'ma know you find you. Mess behind the sticks with nothing around you. Can't get sex with dollars, especially if you're on a different environment. But you got the size. I know, I know, I know. But you got the size. I know, I know, I know. But you got the size. Self-control has never been a thing. Don't think that I help if there's a ring with a vibe in it. Where I'm from, they serve the soul to clean. You come from a city where there's lean with the rocks in it. How the fuck you keep so many secrets? How you pull it vegan but still be filming me again? How the fuck you seen so many beaches? Tickets to them places don't come cheap, man. I see it back in search when that movie took it first. So don't you get it? That's you with it. When you got back on the shit, I had to tell Eric, go get it. I'm always moving too fast. I feel like don't last. I feel like you take it for granted. Probably my fault for the way that I handle it. I should have put you somewhere I would know to find you. Man, she's not in sticks with nothing around you. Can't get Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know, in a different environment. You got desire. I know, I know, I know. But you got desire. I know, I know, I know. So now you want to tie down all your edges. I used about five or six wrap strips and I set her up under a hot dryer for about 20 to 30 minutes. You want to make sure that everything is dry and secure because if you take that wrap off and it's not dry, your lace could possibly lift. And you know, we just don't want to go through all that. So please make sure this dry. I'd rather you let them sit up under there longer and you know burn for a little bit then you take it out too early and then you gotta re-glue stuff and then you mix in too many products and then you just aggravate it and it's just you know they'll be all right y'all beauty is pain okay beauty is pain I should have put you somewhere I would know to find you. Man, she's not in speech with nothing around you. Hey, you Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know, I'm different environment. But you got the size. I know, I know, I know. But you got the size. I know, I know, I know. So now her baby hairs are dry and we're going to reshape them off camera. If you want to update it or if you want a baby hair tutorial, let me know in the comments below. You know, y'all better let me know what you want so you can get what you want. Okay, period. You know, I love my little swoops, my little swirls or whatever. So we're doing like a messy but still like polished um, high ponytail. So I'm not going to use my freeze spray. I'm going to use my Sebastian shaper plus and we're just gonna throw that hair in a ponytail once we put it in the ponytail we're gonna wet the ponytail just a little bit just to make those curls pop just a little bit more i still want to keep them like big and fluffy and then we done like you done you know i know i made it sound like that was just such a quick process but it definitely wasn't quick but you know once you get everything in position and get the you know baby hairs or whatever styling it is not hard at all i mean it's a curly wig you know it's always gonna be easy Can you say anything with you two that must come and date? I can't come and see myself. 
And y'all, this style is finally done. Make sure you use my coupon code JORDAN15 for $15 off any wig purchase on the Wild African website, y'all. Once again, this is a 22-inch Brazilian curly, 150% density, 360 lace wig that I slayed into this cute, messy, hot ponytail. I hope you guys enjoy. Goodbye.